Former NFL player Glenn Foster, who died Monday, two days after police in Alabama arrested him following a car chase. WGN's Patrick Elwood tells us he also played at Chicago's Mount Carmel High School and the University of Illinois. Glenn Foster Jr. played professionally for the New Orleans Saints, collegiately for the Illini, and on the high school level for the Mount Carmel Caravan. He was kind of a magnet. Our kids were hanging on to every word that he shared with them as he talked about his experiences in life, uh, the fact that he didn't make the football team or didn't play on the football team as a freshman, and he ends up playing in the NFL, and that is about persistence and perseverance and having grit and being positive. He just is a positive, positive personality. Brendan Conroy is school president at Mount Carmel and says that Foster was just here visiting with the kids just a couple of months ago. He had this granite business. He had some other things that he was doing in real estate. He was driving from his home in Baton Rouge to Atlanta on business when he was arrested in Reform, Alabama and booked into a local jail on reckless endangerment and resisting arrest charges for attempting to elude police after allegedly speeding. While being processed, he fought against officers and another inmate and was ordered by a judge to be held and to undergo a mental health evaluation because the judge determined he was considered a danger to himself and others. Foster was diagnosed as bipolar, and his father tells a New Orleans newspaper his son was definitely having an episode. They were denied access to see him because of COVID-19 restrictions and that authorities were informed he needed treatment. But what happened from that time on until he was found dead remains a mystery. Today we had a mass which was planned anyway, so it was an opportunity for us to talk about Glenn a little bit and, and what a bright spirit he was. Back here in Chicago, Foster's death has hit the students and staff very hard at Mount Carmel naturally. At mass today, they prayed for him and his family and to address the subject of mental health too to pray for him and his wife Pamela and their four beautiful daughters and his mom Sabrina and his dad Glenn Sr. Um, and also to, to pray for people who are struggling with mental health concerns and because um, we know that, that that was part of Glenn's story uh, and, and you know to kind of raise awareness that it's okay you have somebody here who's going to embrace you and take care of you. Glenn Foster Jr. was 31 years old. Today, the Alabama Law Enforcement Agency said it is looking into how exactly he died, but will provide no further information until the investigation is complete. Reporting from 64th and Dante, Patrick Elwood, WGN News.